Welcome back, guys, to this week's episode of the Name the Game. Last week's video got a total of seven comments, and it really looked like you guys didn't have a hard time figuring out what the game was. Some of you even wrote that it may have been the best description of the game you've ever heard, and I take that as a compliment, so thank you to you guys. So, last week's mystery game is, of course... I found a website where I could just insert the direct link to Name the Game Episode 2's a YouTube video and it actually just picks a random comment as a winner. So let's have a look and see who the winner is. The winner is Judge Me, Judge Me, Judge Me, or whatever. Congratulations to you, and I hope you'll enjoy this prize for many hours to come with your friends. So send me an email at jjgaminggiveaway at gmail.com, and I'll send the key to you as soon as possible. Doom is one of my absolute favorite first-person single-player shooters of all time. The action is ear-deafening and the finishers are brutal as you can see in the video. I'll definitely do another playthrough of Doom in the nearest future as a warm-up for Doom Eternal. I'll even be making a nice-to-know video about the new one as soon as the game hits the shelves. So keep following my channel and make me a part of your weekly YouTube routine. So, let's get on with the show. Roll the intro! Welcome back to YouTube's favorite show, Name the Game! My name is Young Tart Quesos and I'll be your host for this evening. The rules are simple, I interview a game, and you guys guess what game it is. Simple, right? Let's all put our hands together for this week's game! <laughs> Welcome to you, X. Thank you, Mr. Pesos. I've really been looking forward to this interview for some time, because you have so much experience with life and how to make it with just your bare hands. I have indeed, Mr. Kazos. What happened in your life that made you change your lifestyle so drastically? I was working a desk job from 9 to 5, and one day I just grew tired of the triviality of just going to work and never really achieving anything. I got promotions, pay raises, nice apartment, but I somehow had a void deep down inside. What was that void about? I felt kind of empty, like I haven't really been listening to myself, the nature, and what life's real priorities are. What changed your perspective of life then? Well, it started with a letter I got from my grandfather. He had recently passed away, may his soul rest in peace, where he kind of foretold my empty life. It made me take a deeper look at myself, and that's when I noticed this void. He had left me a small plot of land with his farmhouse on it. I quit my desk job and jumped on the first bus to this magnificent valley. I just left it all behind. Interesting. What met you at this valley once you got there? My grandfather's overgrown plot of land and a really welcoming community. I've never set foot on a farm before, so I had no idea what I had to do. Luckily, the mayor supplied me with a farming starter kit, and I jumped straight into the farming business. That must have been hard. It really was, but it helped me to get my priorities straight. I learned everything about farming, fishing, connecting with people, mining and crafting even. I've really made a nice life for myself here in the valley. That sounds really satisfying, X. I'm happy I got the chance to talk to you. You're welcome. That concludes this week's episode of... Name the Game! I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune in again next week for a new mystery game. Farewell and good night. Thanks for watching everyone. If you know what game X is, 
please leave a comment down below and I'll pick a random winner in next week's episode. This week's prize is a Steam key to 2011's Zombie Slasher Dead Island Definitive Edition. Remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.